Well, I made this whole video and then I was like, some people might not even know what gyroscope is. So gyroscope is basically, when you turn it on, it basically does this. You use your phone in order to move different directions. So you see how I'm moving, but I'm moving my phone as well. Now you can do that, but also you can move your thumb as well. You can turn and then use your thumb to move as well. So you can do both movements with your phone and this can help improve aim and improve movement. I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video. All right, here we go again, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Drew coming back with another video. And in today's video, man, I'm be showing you guys how to use gyroscope. First, I'll be showing you my settings and sensitivity for gyroscope. Next, I'll be showing you guys how to find your settings and sensitivity for gyroscope. Next, we'll be going over how to aim with gyroscope and then how to move with gyroscope. And lastly, we'll be showing you how to progress with gyroscope, man. Let's get right on into today's video. All right, so starting out with my settings and sensitivity, man. So y'all already know I run four finger cloth. So this is my hood layout. I won't be going over that in depth in this video. If you want me to do another video on that, just let me know down in the comment section below. But if you want to, you can copy this loadout if you have not. Um, found a loadout. I said loadout, a layout for you already, man. Some people already mastered their layout, man. Don't change your layout if you already have one mastered. So this is it. Let's hit confirm. Let's go to the basics right here, man. Aim assist, quick run, fix right fire button, and fix virtual joystick are all on. The rest of the settings are off. Next, which is very important, tap to hold. ADS is on. Display left fire button on. Slide while running. Um, that's tap crouch while sprinting is on 75 gyroscope is all the way on and some people like to do wild ADS you know what I'm saying they don't like to move with it which you know what I'm saying can work a lot uh, and I have FOV on 75 so let's skip audio I mean I got let's see if you want to see this man you can but I got it on low max depth of field is the only one on and then so here go the important stuff man sensitivity at my speed since on 30 man i'm working on improving that each and every day um right now i got my standard sense on 85 ads sense on 105 telescope sense on 121 sniper on 75 and i have the same thing for the fine sensitivity okay here are my gyroscope settings right now 110 65 45 and 10. now i used to run a 300 gyroscope sense but then i was like man that's too much man for a first time gyroscope player you don't want to just go straight out the gate with 300 man so right now i lowered that to 110 i want to get to at least 200 soon um but right now i have it on 110 uh ads on 65 and that's because i can control my recoil very very well with 65 and i'll show you guys what i mean in a second here um tactical scope 45 i don't really use tactical a whole whole lot so i haven't really tested it all the way but I just went 20 lower than my ADS sense. And then sniper scope, I really don't use gyroscope with um, my snipers. I lean a little bit, but not a whole, whole lot. So I just put it on 10. And that is my settings and sensitivity. So now I'm going to show you guys how to find your settings and sensitivities. I'm going to hop into a bot match and get right on into it. So before you start trying to find your perfect sensitivity for gyroscope, make sure that you have a gun on that has good recoil to it when i say good recoil i mean like high recoil make sure that you get a gun like that so i'm gonna use the msmc put no attachments on it no attachments at all and you want to make sure that you change your loadout and make sure you put um vulture on so you can get some more ammo and don't run out of ammo while you're trying to train for this because i'm gonna hop in a bot match and um the msmc runs out of ammo pretty fast when you're just training with it and i'm gonna use the um asm 10 i'm not gonna clear the um um the attachments out because that is my favorite gun class but make sure you don't put grip on it don't put grip on this thing do not do that and for the purpose of this i said don't have any attachments you can put uh i don't have it unlocked on it's not gonna worry about it. put extended mag on um so you can just shoot longer without having to reload so once you do that and oh i didn't put scavenger on make sure you put scavenger on i gotta remember to change that 
So you can just kill a bot and then go back to training. <laughs> so put Vulture on so you don't run out of ammo and then get right on into a bot match. Same swings. This is what you want to do when you're finding your layout. Now I will make a part two to this. They say they got a training mode coming soon to Call of Duty Mobile. So once they come out with the training mode, I'll make another video on gyroscope and how to find your settings and sensitivities and all that stuff using the training mode. But right now, so what you want to do, you want to find a wall. You know what I'm saying? Just stand back a little bit. And then you want to just fire with that MSMC. You see how far that goes up? So next, you know what I'm saying? You want to go into your sensitivities and stuff like that. Make sure you turn gyroscope on. Make sure you got gyroscope on. Boom. I already know I got it on, but I'm just going through what you should do. <laughs> Make sure you got gyroscope on. And then you want to bring your standard sensitivity to about 100 i'm gonna leave mine the same but bring yours to about 100 and then go back and then try to do the same thing again but this time do your best to keep your reticle in the center of your screen so now you see the difference man at first i was way up here but you saw how i just held my phone down and it literally took no movement at all you see i'm still holding my phone but you see if i bring my phone down like this and up like that you see how it moves and then I can go to the right here and I can go to the left here. And I did that. That leads me to my next point. My gyroscope settings are set to invert. If I turn invert off, it's a little different. So now if I hold my phone down, I go down like that. And if I hold my phone back, I go up. If I go down to the right, it goes that way. And if I go down to the left, it goes that way. I like invert a little bit better. Let me know what y'all like, but you just kind of had to see which one you like better. I like this one better. I just like that way. Some people like the down better, but I like this way better. So that's the first test. Next, you want to aim down sight and then without using gyroscope, just hit the aim button and see how it went straight up. So now what you want to do is try to control that recoil by pulling back on your phone like this, like pull back. See how I'm pulling back? pulling back like that it's gonna make the phone go down so get the aim bring it down you see how that stands still it even though your bullets go all over the place it's still it's still a lot better if your if your gun is still going up like this even though you're holding it back that means your gyroscope settings are too low and you want to bump them some more so bump them about 10 until it stays right in the center as much as you can handle right and you don't want to have to be bringing your phone all the way back like this. That's uncomfortable. You should be no farther than a little bit. It should be just a little bit, a little bit of movement. That's all you should have to do. And so now that we did the MSMC or the close range version of the how to find a sensitive let's do the long way. Let's do the long range version. So what you want to do, you want to just aim at something. I guess I'll use that desk over there. I don't even know. What is that? What 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 is that? Anyway, I'm going to use that to aim at. I'm pretty far away from it. So if I'm aiming at it and I'm not moving my thumb, it's just going to keep going up. Now I can see the second balcony, man. So what you want to do, you want to do the same thing. You want to just go down like this, man. So here, pull back. And I'm pretty much on target to that. So, But I do want to say this, man. If you're long range, you want to use a thumb a little bit too because it'll make you even that much better. See, that's even better. And I'm using both as a combo. You never want to use gyroscope. I mean, I'm hoping y'all watching this whole thing. You never want to use gyroscope solo unless you are training. If you're doing a real match, you don't want to use gyroscope solo. You don't want to use gyroscope just to aim unless you're training for your gyroscope settings, which I'm about to show you how to train your aim with gyroscope here in a second. But um, that's how you find your settings, man. That's the second thing you want to do is just find something long range and do the same thing that I did with the MSMC. So next, let me show you guys how to aim with gyroscope. What you want to do, like I said, hop into a bot match and you want to do what I call gyroscope only aiming. This is only for training purposes, man. Training purposes only. So I'm aiming at this bot and I'm only using my gyroscope to aim. Now my gyroscope is not, you know what I'm saying, real, real high on the standard. I'm working on that. But what you want to do is gyroscope aim, put your reticle on the bot, and then aim at him. <laughs> he killed he killed that bot first. And just aim at him. So, and this will help your aiming a little bit. Gyroscope only aiming. You want to practice that. That's what you want to do. If your gyroscope settings is like 300, that's why I say I'm working on improving mine to where I can just lean 
further i'm gonna make another video once i um get my gyroscope settings even higher but like i said you want to do gyroscope only aiming just like i did before in the bot match and then you want to do gyroscope only aiming with your ads sense see i could go a little bit further with the ads sense but you want to do the same thing and this will help you get used to your gyroscope settings and what you want to try to do is don't put your reticle on them if your um, ADS sense is high. You see how my ADS, my reticle is not on them? I'm going to aim right at him. And I'm going to get him. Oh, well, I thought I killed him. But anyway, you want to do gyroscope only aiming, man, just to practice a little bit in some bot matches and things like that. So, Oh, wow. <laughs> I was shooting right at him, but he was still in that invincible stage or whatever you call that when you first respawn. But... That's what you want to do, man. Just focus on some gyroscope only aiming. Oh, I thought I killed. I keep thinking I kill these bots and then I pull off. But anyway, that's the next thing you want to do, man. That's how you improve your aim. Just gyroscope only aiming. Never do gyroscope only aiming in a game when you're first starting out with gyroscope. I know it probably some PUBG players that do gyroscope only aiming, and that's good for them. <laughs> good for them, man. If you got it like that, then you got it like that. But especially when you're first starting out, you do not want to do gyroscope only aiming. You want to praise your gyroscope only aiming, and then you want to hop in a real match, and then use your thumb and gyroscope at the same time. So that way, your aim will improve a lot, man. That's what you want to do. So you want to combo your aiming, how to improve your aiming, just your solo aiming with your thumb, and you want to combine your gyroscope aiming. If you do both at the same time, I'm telling you, man, it's going to improve your aim a whole, whole lot. Now, my problem is sometimes I get lazy and I don't use gyroscope. Like, I just hold my phone and I just try to aim, like, solo. And then a recoil, like, it'll have, like, the ASM-10 guy sometimes have a random recoil, a kick out, and then I'll miss a shot. And I'm like, if I was just using gyroscope, I would I would make that shot. You know what I'm saying? So, that is what you want to do when you're aiming, man. Train with gyroscope only aiming and you will get better at your gyroscope sensitivity if you feel like it's taking too much to aim like if you're leaning way over here or way over there up the gyroscope a little bit up it a little bit not a whole lot like i said maybe five to ten at a time not a whole whole lot you don't want to be leaning left like this right here that's too much i can't even see my screen about and see left and right maybe about here maybe about there that's as much as you want to be leaning man you don't want to be leaning more than that because then you run into a whole lot of aiming problems, man. That's about all you want to do. So let's get into the movement with gyroscope. So for the purposes of the movement part of this video, I'm going to be bumping my gyroscope to about 185. Now, I have it on 110 because I'm trying to master aiming with gyroscope. And I'm upping it a little bit by little every week. I master a certain, um, a certain um, gyroscope um, sensitivity. But for this, I'm going to go to 185 because now I can move left and right a little bit more. And this is what I'm hoping to accomplish, man. Get to around 185. You see how I can turn these corners smoothly? And my thumb. This is my biggest problem. Sometimes I turn like this and my thumb is out of position to aim. It's way out of position to aim. But if I do gyroscope, now my thumb is pretty much dead center where I need it to be. Because I'm turning with gyroscope as well as turning with uh, my thumb. I'm doing it both, man. You don't want to just turn, turn, gyroscope only, man. And some people who can do that. There's some people in the game who just turn with gyroscope and then they aim with their fingers. I have not made it to that point yet. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep me updated with my gyroscope journey, but I have not made it to that point yet. I'm using it in conjunction and um, I'm upping my sensitivity about 10 to 15 each week. Once I get used to one, I'm used to 110 now, and I'm going to be up in that sensitivity a little bit this week while I'm playing. But um, this is what you want to get to, where you can pick those corners by leaning with gyroscope. And you don't want to, like I said before, you don't want to have to lean your phone all the way up here, because then your aim will get compromised, your movement will get compromised, and different things like that. But that's what you want to be doing. Turn those corners, man. It's all about those corners, though. Once you get to where you can turn corners pretty good, right now I feel like I'm still turning way too much, but I have not mastered um, 185. I'm just doing this to show y'all what y'all want to eventually get to because I had the movement down pretty good. I was on 300 cents, but there's another part what you have to remember. My ADS, like aiming, like hip fire aim was horrible on 300 Um. 300 drive scope, man. It was horrible. So that's what you have to keep in mind. It's two parts to using gyroscope for movement, man. You want to be able to aim with that um, sensitivity, but 
you know what I'm saying? You want to make sure your movement is good as well. So that's you have to find a happy medium. That's why 300 was too high for me. I had to bring it back down. So I think I'm going to go to about 120 this week and try to master 120. The next week, I'm going to go to 130. And then I'm going to keep going until I get to a point where I just can't. You will get to a point where you just can't handle that anymore. Then you might have to play two weeks with a certain sensitivity and then three weeks with a certain sensitivity. Until you get to a point where you can handle that sensitivity, man. So, all right. So now I'm going to just stay on this screen because I just have a couple more things I want to say. Uh, when you're using gyroscope, man, you never want to use gyroscope solo. Never want to use gyroscope solo, especially when you first start out. But like I said, there's some people out there who have mastered gyroscope to infinity and beyond, man. I have not. I have not. I'm telling you that right now. But I'm giving you guys the basics that you need to know for beginners and things like that. I'm telling you my journey, and I'm going to go through this journey along with you guys. So don't forget to hit that sub button if you're trying to go through this gyroscope journey. Or if you're thinking about going through it and you want to see my progression to make your decision. You know, there's some people who want to see it done before they actually start something. You know what I'm saying? So... If you want to join my journey, just hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification as well. But like I said, never use gyroscope solo. Um, also, make sure that you reset your thumb when you're moving and stuff like that. Make sure you reset your thumb to the middle of the screen so you can go left and right. You see how I move my thumb left and right? <laughs> make sure you always have your thumb in the middle when you're moving um, around and stuff using gyroscope. And also, don't be like me. Don't forget to use your gyroscope because sometimes it'll throw your aim off. Don't forget to use it if you're going to use it, man. Go ahead and use it. If you don't have to use it in certain situations, don't. But don't forget to use it if you need it in certain situations as well because you'll be like, man, I had it and I didn't use it. So, All right, so that's it for today's video, man. Y'all continue to grind and continue to shine, man. I'll see you guys in the next video.